Fala galera, vou conseguir a tão esperada entrevista com o Chase Sexton. Quero agradecer ao Freestyle por ter proporcionado isso pra gente. Vamos na linha. Então, Chase, many amateur Iranian riders, quando they become a pro, many of them don't win anymore. What uh, what is the what it takes to take to the next level like you did like you turn like a beast right Yeah I mean I think it's uh a lot of it's how you're grown up and brought up uh, as a young kid I think for me I've always been determined and I just had that installed in me since I was little and uh, the motivation never seems to go away I'm always motivated I'm always wanting to get better and I think that's the biggest thing is the career your career can get grueling and there's some tough times but you got to be able to push through those and. Uh, persevere through the hard times and I think that's where a lot of people get caught up so for me I uh, I'm still very motivated and uh, looking forward to the future awesome uh, <clears throat> riding your lever for so many years can be really tough right mentally in a month how many uh, how many times you are really really excited to go to the track and put the work yeah I mean the, the season is so so long and There are some days where you wake up and you don't feel like uh, going going to the track and doing your workouts, but those are the days that make you better. And um, like I said, it's all about being, it's all about mindset and how you look at things. And for me, I'm very lucky that I get to ride a dirt bike for a living. And those days that you don't feel like doing stuff, that's why you have to look at it. And um, it doesn't happen too much. I'm normally excited to go to the track and ride, but uh, some days, you know, we wake up and not, not in the not in the mood for it. So you gotta just remind yourself how buckly you are to be able to do what you love, and that's kind of how I look at it. Yeah, use your sword or tire, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. great. So when you're riding your very best, can you put in words how you feel? Uh, it feels easy to me. That's when you know you're riding very good and you're, sometimes you can feel like it's easy, but you're going slow. When you're going fast and it feels easy, that's when you know you're uh, you're on point. And uh, for me, I think, uh, It doesn't, it doesn't happen every day, but it, it has, seems to happen more often now, which is nice. But um, yeah, you just kind of feel like you uh, can do no wrong, and that's kind of a fun thing to do. Awesome. <clears throat> Enzo Lopes is the best rider right now in Brazil in terms of results. If you have to give advice to, for him, what would you give? I've actually raced Enzo uh, since I was probably, I don't know, seven, eight years old. So it's pretty cool to see both of us at this level. and. Um, He's honestly been very impressive, I think, all year. He's uh, he showed a lot of speed. I think his qualifying speed is really impressive. I think the biggest thing is just translating that into the races. He's plenty capable of being on the podium and challenging for wins. So I think uh, for him to keep, keep digging and uh, he'll break through, I feel like, very, very soon. Awesome. <clears throat> okay, what was your reaction the first time you rode the factory bike? Uh, I think the first time I rode a factory bike was when I was about 15. I rode uh, Starbike. It was obviously very good, but um, I've been very fortunate enough growing up that I had good bikes. Um, my dad did a lot of a lot of late hours, a lot of late nights, um, working on my bikes and getting them to a good spec. And I feel like that's kind of not made me dull to like good bikes, but it's made me. Uh, I guess the transition not as big. So I think for me, I've always been on good bikes. He's, These bikes are obviously very good, so it is a bit of a difference, but you know, it's uh, it's a dirt bike and the rider still has to make the biggest difference, and that's to be uh, how I look at it. Awesome. Okay, and uh, if you were riding your factory bike and then a stock bike, how is lower you would be on the stock bike? Depends on the track. Is the track smooth? Probably not much slower, but uh, a rough track or say a supercross track, there's probably a big difference, I think. The soft. Sorry. No problem. Shock bikes are a little, a uh, little softer, so uh, it's easier to go fast on a smooth track. But when the track is rough and you need a little bit more hold up, it's it's tough to go fast on a soft bike. So it kind of just depends on the track is. But uh, for me, I don't really get to ride one much. But on a smooth track, honestly, or even like a semi-rough track, it's not much difference. Awesome. Okay, and uh, the last question for you: How would you like to be remembered? Honestly, just like uh, as a badass, that's kind of you are. I wanna, yeah, I want to be like, tough. Also, have the speed that is uh, flashy, but also have the other side where you're determined and tough, and uh, nothing really gets to you. So that's what we're working on right now. Just kind of keeping it mellow and um, yeah, trying to get better, obviously. Awesome. So good luck tonight. Thank you. Very cheering for you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Okay.
just been okay. Can we just make a photo for the